You're tuned into the Sports Mix with Spencer and Nick on Talk Radio WRNR 106.5 FM, AM 740, and TV 10. See Danny Edlin, the receivers as well. Agent looking to throw. Tyson throws over the middle for Walker. He makes the catch, and there's the record. Tyson Bajant is the king of touchdowns in NCAA football. Welcome back to this edition of the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Spencer, Colin, and Dylan, happy to have you with us. Nick on vacation. We're now joined by Travis and Tyson Bajan. And Tyson, how you been doing? How's uh, How was Chicago treating you the first couple for the minicamp? It was good. You know, it was a huge experience, a lot of learning. Um, you know, I didn't know it going in. OTAs is like kind of half speed, half speed reps, but a lot of learning going on. So, you know, I was glad it was half speed, but it was good. I got to meet all the guys. Everybody's really good to me and just been, you know, diving in head first. And now Travis, the number one Bears fan in the nation. The Bears. <laughs> uh Tyson, you got a second annual uh, camp coming up this Friday. I feel like this is probably an extra special one for you with uh, just being able to get into the NFL and kind of have that prowess on you because uh, it definitely is going to mean a lot to this community for you to do something like that. Yeah, I think last year having the first one and kind of not knowing where I'd be if if we wouldn't be able to have the second one. So, you know, I am excited. Uh, and, you know, this year being able to have it at um, – you know, my high school, Martinsburg High School, um, city that I'm, you know, so in love with, um, you know, late night camp. So it's not going to be too hot. It's from 8 to 10 p.m. Registration starts at 7. Um, free to the first 100 people that show up. Um, quarterback wide receiver camp. Be a lot of good coaches there. A lot of good players uh, from around the area, uh, present and, and former players. So it'll be a good time. Just talk a little bit about the success from last year's camp and what are you hoping to, I guess, match that this year? Well, I think last year we're just kind of, you know, seeing what it would be like, just kind of testing, testing the waters out a little bit. Not a huge, uh, not a lot of, not a lot of people showed up, um, but it was still a lot of fun. We had, we had enough coaches there, you know, to really make an impact on everybody who showed up. So this year, getting, making it free, you know, making it at Martinsburg High School a little bit more of a popular, um, popular place to be. Um, and, you know, like I said, we got a lot of good coaches that are going to be there. Uh, we know what worked last year, what didn't work, and we're going to implement all that information into this year's camp and, you know, hopefully just keep getting better year in and year out. And what sort of role can we expect from you, but even both of you maybe, at the, at the camp? Um, from me, I mean, I'm going to be, you know, I'll be pretty hands-on, but also just kind of overlooking the whole thing, just kind of, you know, speaking to people, shaking people's hands, talking to people, um, and then, you know, at the end, probably, you know, give a speech to the kids, you know, motivate them a little bit and kind of tell them, you know, kind of what it takes going forward if you want to play at the highest level. Travis, you, Travis, well, finally, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Bajan <laughs> is here on the interview. Tyson will be working for me at the camp, actually, uh, on Thursday night. I have coordinated this entire thing. I came to Tyson with this elaborate plan, $1,500 per camper, and he got me to say, well, I'd rather do it free, which is one of the reasons why he's such a good guy and, uh, and that we are different in that respect. But we're going to – I went to – when we went to the Senior Bowl, um, Ezra participated in um, this QB country um, quarterback um, camp um, for two and a half days in um, Mobile. And what I saw was – what I told him was the most efficient camp that I'd ever saw. Um, each – each of the stations were just a different part of playing quarterback. So we're going to institute that along with having um, a receiver rep there, you know, a receiver coach as well, and a bunch of helpers. So hopefully it will be a way for the quarterbacks to come. And instead of just doing a lot of footwork drills, really throwing the ball for, you know, as long as we can for that two hours and get as many uh, as many reps in different situations as can. So um, it's going to look really good. You guys are going to be super impressed. And I just want you to know that it was not my complete idea. I did steal it from QB country. So um, that's the deal. For the camp, uh, you mentioned earlier, Tyson, that it's not only going to be for quarterbacks, it's wide receivers, tight ends, running backs, whoever want to show up. And some former players, some current guys and coaches from all around will be there. Who are some of those guys, I guess? 
Uh, well, first and foremost, Trayvon Wesco will be there. Nate Sowers will be there just to put out a couple big names uh, and successful players from the area. Jawan Green. Jawan Green will be there. I will be there. Um, past past quarterbacks from Martinsburg, quarterbacks that are currently on uh, Shepherd University roster. Uh, Ezra Bajan will be there. Um, so just to throw around a couple names, uh, there will be some big name guys there. And uh, obviously for you, Tyson, this is kind of your last week uh, before you really uh, hit the, I guess you'd call it professional ranks, because you had that little, the, the OT8 period, and now you had this off period, and then next week you report to uh, training camp. Uh, I saw over the weekend that you uh, were at the beach and you were throwing some footballs, just enjoying some time with the family before you head out to Chicago. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what this whole 40-day um, break has been, just me diving into the playbook and then spending as much time with my family and friends as I, as I can. Um, the beach was fun. Got to, you know, I like to look at the beaches. Like, I try to make it the, the hardest week of my life in the sense of I know I'm going to be spending time with my family all day. So uh, having to wake up, you know, even more early than usual and getting all my work you know, out of the way so that then I can be, you know, with the fam and do everything that they're doing. Um, but, you know, all in all, it was a good time and uh, a good little reset. Looking at the preseason schedule for uh, the Bears the first week, uh, hosting the Titans, how cool is that going to be to see Wesco, like Trayvon, because he's on the Titans, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be pretty cool to play your first professional game against somebody that you know. It's Even though you're both on offense, it'll still be a cool thing. Yeah, I think that's just one of the million things that'll be super cool about about that day. Um, you know, Trayvon's a good dude. You know, he you know, he gave me my first two NFL footballs. You know, the the first two NFL balls that I ever throw came from him. So, you know, he's been a, a huge part in in kind of understanding what the what the game is at the next level. Um, and yeah, I think that'll definitely be, definitely be you know post game you know something cool to be able to say what's up to him and take a picture with him after the game. So so far during this first kind of opening OTA kind of period with the Bears. What do you think has been the thing you've really had to adjust to most coming from, you know, Shepard and moving into this NFL level? The whole, just the mental aspect of the game. Uh, everything else is relatively, you know, the same. You're still playing football. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that, you know, I've noticed a, a speed difference. I, I've noticed a size difference in the trenches. Um, but really, everybody's just smarter. You know, everybody's where they're supposed to be. Um, you know, and it's their job. So, you know, you're not dealing with, you know, D2 kids or who are maybe half in and half out on if they love football or not and maybe not locked into the playbook. And, you know, people make a lot of mistakes at, at the college level, but you got a, got a lot of dudes that are trying to provide for themselves and their family. So they're always in the right spot, you know, at the right time, which just, you know, makes timing and efficiency, you know, that much more important. But the biggest adjustment, uh, bar none, is the, the playbook and just dealing with the whole mental side of the game. Has reality really set in for you that this is now your life, hopefully, being in Chicago, learning the playbook, getting in, even though, as you already said, OTAs was half speed, but now a week away from truly getting into the grind of this season? Yeah, I think the key word is uh, is hopefully uh, it hasn't set in because, you know, I, I don't even have a year under my belt yet. And there there's no saying whether that, you know, will or won't happen. You know, it's all just going to come from, you know, the work that, you know, just you know, I work my butt off, but, you know, hopefully that was enough to get me, you know, onto the team for this year. And then I think once that that happens, I think then you can kind of, you know, let let things set in and, and understand that you're you are a professional quarterback. But as of now, there's still a lot of um, a lot of things that need to happen. So really just kind of preparing and, and focusing in on, you know, this next step of my life. Going back to the camp, I'll let uh Travis John back in now and show off uh, some of the merch here. For yeah, I brought campers. you guys two t-shirts. Sorry, big guy. <laughs> Only large and extra large for the camp this week, but just a huge shout out. I know you guys, one of the, the huge people, partners here at WRNR, but Hagerstown Ford, you know, Eric Carper came through again and he gave us, you know, he put his logo on the back there, but the truth is, is 
the party is in the front on this <laughs> t-shirt here, guys. So we got the Chicago Bears logo. We got the Shepherd. We got Tyson's photo there. The first 100 campers will get a t-shirt. You're going to get a large or an extra large, no matter how big or small you are. So, And Tyson will be there hanging out right afterwards if probably get a couple of them signed for you. But it's going to be a great day. And, you know, we just we're so thankful to Martinsburg High School, to Coach Walker, making it so easy. Hagerstown Ford being such a tremendous com- you know, contributor to uh, to the whole Tyson Bajan brand. So we uh, we we're not sure how many people, but there will after the 100, you'll be lucky to even participate. So make sure that you are there at seven o'clock, because once we get over 100 people, uh, we're probably going to start locking the doors. All right, Tyson, before uh, we let you go here, what's it been like to be in that quarterback room? With you know Justin Fields, PJ Walker, and then you know Nathan Peterman, a journeyman quarterback. What have you learned from them in that short period of time you're able to be with them? I would say it's a great quarterback room, and it's a lot different than college in the sense of um, you're competing, but you're not necessarily competing against anybody as much as as much so as you're just trying to you know cover your own bases and make sure you understand everything that's going on and you know once all that's taken care of you kind of just you know talking and you know communicating with the guys you know Justin's a lot like me he's a little more laid back um, you know quiet guy that you know gets the job done and and works really hard you know spent a lot of early mornings with PJ Walker just because me and him were the two main ones trying to learn the offense so a lot of early mornings with him just kind of chopping it up and talking about football and talking about things outside of football Um, but him and him and Nate were really good in the sense of, you know, answering any questions that I had. You know, Justin's, you know, pretty occupied with things he's got to do. And, um, you know, he's got, you know, he gets the chunk of the practice play. So I know he's locked in on a lot of things. So um, PJ was great, you know, as a friend. Nate was, you know, great as a, as a mentor just just because he's so smart. I mean, he's been around in the league because he can process all the junk that they throw at him. And he can he can operate in the NFL system. So being able to learn from him, being able to just talk to him, you know, it was a great, great quarterback room. And, you know, I look forward to going back. All right. The second annual passing skills camp hosted by Tyson Bajan and Travis Bajan is this uh, Thursday at Martinsburg High School. Its registration begins at 7. The first 100 people are the only 100 people to get in. Be there at 7 o'clock, <laughs> 8 to 1030. Uh, thanks for the time, guys. Best of luck in Chicago. And uh, Travis, I assume we'll be speaking to you at some point here soon. No doubt. And I just want to, for the record, let you guys know, this is the last time I'm coming with Tyson. Because all y'all do is ask him questions. <laughs> I, you can see I've been lifting, right? <laughs> Uh, next time I come back here, I'm going to be the world champ again. And then okay, I, okay. I'm going to ask all the questions.